Hello champions, so we're gonna have a look at the pirate princess Carrie Sane. Alright, she is a trickster. Four star gold. Again, she was sent to me by Scopely to do this preview. I don't get to keep her. Her coaching ability at 9000 is a bleed move, do 25% more bleed damage. And again, this is a coach, not a trainer. That means you could use the bleed uh, increase trainer, which is set striker on top of it. Right now, she has links with Japanese, take 40% less damage from blue move and a raw. Any color move start with one more MP and modern era gem do 5% more damage only one set of gear pretty much as two move set this one and the one against mp uh, red mp guys or females i should say <laughs> so this one is the seven c's 11 mp purple move finisher deal 26k damage and choose seven purple gems to destroy the tokyo slam 7 mp blue move deal 20.8k damage and choose four gems to make into purples and the sliding D, 6 MP blue move, deal 15.9k damage and choose 3 gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponents, deal up to 17.3k alt. If broken by you, deal 8.2k damage and make 2 random blue, uh, random purple gems into cross break gems. Trainers are going to be Lawler to start with more blue and Daniel Bryan to create more purple. Could use the... Uh, is it JBL, I believe? Or I'm not sure to break more uh, with the finisher, but I mean, the chances that you would have more purple, like you wouldn't have 12 purple to break. And even if you did, that would reload your finisher, which would then have no more purple because you broke them on the previous one. So really no point. Better off going with Daniel Bryan to create more purple. Got Andre to help with that blue. Elva and Velveteen to help uh, counter those submissions. We're going to go against uh, Naomi, uh, mainly because uh, we can't really go against Ronda because of the class advantage and Asuka for the same reason. So there's really not that many options or target to face. Uh, so we'll go against uh, Naomi for that. right so normally i wouldn't have the blue ready so let's use the blue to fill those two moves all right so now there's multiple way you can use this you can set the trap so he breaks them and then it just steals out or you can break them yourself we do have the choose move ready ideally what you want to do is use that choose move to fill your purple but you want to have six remaining purple on the board that will be converted uh, into cross break gems so we're gonna be making the traps right here There you go. Now we'll make our purple. And I want to have like six remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just, I don't need more than the ones I got at the bottom. So let's just play safe and have a couple options in case of matches. There you go. It did not end or turn. That's perfect. And now we can break purples. So we're going to break, obviously, the purples that have the uh, cross gems on them. And that's going to be it, probably. And that's it. So it's definitely a move set. It, I mean, it works really well, but it definitely takes a little planning on how you want to do. But you can do it many, many differently. I mean, that's the way that 
I saw it right now. Might not be the optimal way, but obviously it worked fine. You can set them up as for him to break him. I don't really like to have to wait for the CPU to basically break them. I kind of like to break them myself. So this worked pretty good. So let's have a look at something else now. All right, second move set we're going to talk about because I can't show you the actual move set in action because I don't have a target. Uh, it is going to be the purple, red, red. That is basically the zombie page killer. It is the interceptor 2 MP purple move deal 5.4k damage and steal up to 3 MP from each of your opponent red move. The knife edge chop 8 MP red move deal 22.6k damage and deal 25.4k bleed damage to your opponent for 3 turns. And the marine spike 7 MP red move steal up to 29.1k health. Now trainers for that would be Z uh, not zombie, but shield Roman to increase the health stole and shield set to increase the bleed damage. Also have zombie Balor to again increase even more the health steal. And I got uh, here uh, the Vainglorious uh, Velveteen Dream as a coach to reduce the submission because most female have a submission, so that's pretty useful. So this would be basically not only zombie page, but basically double you, uh, red users. So uh, also uh, regular page, uh, showboat page uh, using the double red move set would be pretty impaired by that as well. Uh, one on one, definitely completely gonna annihilate them. It's gonna take a while, obviously, because the moves themselves don't do that much damage, uh, but they're not really gonna have a chance with you stealing their red over and over. If you're in a tag match, though, uh, it can depend. Uh, if Obviously, if they're both red users, you're gonna chew through them without a problem. If one of them does not have any red, then you might be in problem, because you're not gonna do much damage, so you might be at a disadvantage there, but you can always tag your partner and have your partner do the job at that point and just tag back to carry if zombie page is back in the uh, in the match. So definitely really, really good against those double red users and much needed against freaking zombie page that we see everywhere. So now let's see if we can figure out a third spec for her. All right, guys, we're going to have a look at a third option. We're going to see if that third option is actually a third T-H-I-R-D option or a third T-U-R-D option. So let's see. It is going to be the blue to red red. The blue being the sliding D6 MP blue move, deal 15.9k damage and choose three gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to 17.3k health. If broken by you, deal 8.4k damage and make two random purple gems into crossbreak gems. The knife edge chop, 8 MP red move, deal 22.6k damage and deal 25.4k bleed damage to your opponent for three turns. And the Marine Spike 7 MP Red Move steal up to 29.1k health. You could be using also instead of the Sliding D, pretty much any other move right there. You could be using the 7C instead. You could be using the Choose Move, the Tokyo Slam instead that deal as 20.8k damage and choose four gems to make into purple. That is a seven MP blue move. That would actually work pretty well as well. But I decided to go with the uh, trap move instead because it kind of gives us a little more options as far as either making crossbreak gems or even stealing more health. So trainers are going to be sting to have that red move ready faster. It is basically a variation of the red steel move. Uh, and we're going to be using set also to uh, get more damage from that bleed move. I got Zombie Balor to get a little more damage out of that Steel Elt. Could be using also uh, like Jinder to generate more traps. Uh, if you were using instead the other blue move, you could be using Daniel Bryan to make more out of that. And there's 
this is basically a spec if you remain because the, the first spec we check is definitely the best one it works really well pretty much every time you use it this spec is like something that you can mess around if your main trainers from the first spec are taken so let's have a look let's see how that does versus against naomi uh, again so since we uh, don't want to have the uh, class advantage come into play Right. Normally my red would not be ready because of the perks right now it is. Gonna be putting some traps. Although my blue probably wouldn't have been ready because of those same perks, so yeah. But definitely my red would not be ready right now. Now it would be ready on the next turn. I uh, will steal some health. Or put a bleed. This is going to give us a couple of reds also. This just collapsed and gave us more red so that's great and Naomi as a red moose I even could have used my red steel on her another bleed let's do another elt steel let's get more red She's going to do her submission, which I don't think I have Velveteen. No, I did not have Velveteen on, so I can't get out of it fast. But we're going to be getting it for three turns. I don't have any blue or reds. So it looks like we're going to be going for green. do have blue this time that collapsed on one of our cross gems that were there and that's gonna help the third the help finish that worked out pretty pretty well actually kind of worked out better than i expected it would definitely like that i took that uh that uh, trap gem to create those uh those cross gems to help pretty sure that helped more than the choose move would have So yeah, definitely more viable than I expected it would, but I still like the first spec much better. First spec is almost flawless. All right, so that uh, that's pretty much it for Carrie Sane. Again, she is a trickster. She you can currently get some shards from her. Uh, part of the event that's going on right now, the Valentine event. Uh, and I'm sure she's going to be in pulls on Friday uh, and probably throughout the month. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're already, if you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions? Ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Ciao. Ciao. Bom, boyas.